Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I do these videos just to educate women more on their bodies, hormones, things you can do at home using your whole food nutrition to match with your body, your hormones, to get and keep a better result. Oh, I'm the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, and the host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. Um, and I have um, info right now. I will put this in the comments before I forget so you guys can get on this. Um, you can get on the wait list for my next upcoming challenge, the 12 week menopause challenge. This is a challenge that takes you through day by day, week by week, meal by meal, exactly what you need to do to get and keep better results, to really jumpstart your metabolism, to turn things around and really start eating for your body in perimenopause and menopause. There's a ton of info that I'm releasing only in this waitlist group. So click the link, get signed up, get all of this fantastic info sent right to you so you can learn more about the specifics that you need to do. Okay, Whew. oh my gosh. So the one thing I wanna to cover today is talking about why women get so fatigued in menopause. And this is not just, oh, I didn't sleep good and I'm tired. Oh, it's kind of tough to just keep going. Ugh, man, I just maybe need a little nap or something. This is like fatigue that takes you down. This is your body just like powers down in energy. And sometimes, oh, hi, Carrie. <laughs> um, sometimes it feels like, Oh, I, I'm doing okay. I can go to the gym and then all of a sudden the afternoon hits or the evening hits and like it's like the energy just, just gets sucked out of you. Or you're going about your regular day and all of a sudden there's some activities you need to do. There, there's some, some things that you just need to take care of and they're not extra things necessarily. It could be like good going to the grocery store. You got to go to the grocery store, get the stuff, right? Load it in your cart, you know, check out, take it from the cart, put it in your car, right? Like, and then by the time you go to put, you know, take it from your car to your house and put it away, you're like, Oh God, I'm just, I'm just tired. Like this is exhausting thinking about having to put all these groceries away, carry them in and put them away. And then when you're done with that, you're like, I just need to sit. I just, I just need to, uh, right? Like you're just, you know, I'm thinking of, I have like a cartoon picture in my head right now, <laughs> like power down. You know, that's what it, that's what I mean when I say fatigue. This is not, um, this is not like, oh, I'm just tired. This is, I am like, my arms are tired. My legs are tired. Everything about me is tired. That's the real fatigue here that we're talking about. And why this happens has a lot to do with your hormones and the new body that you have. Now this means that there are things you can do to shift and change this, to boost that energy, to not be fatigued, to turn this around, right? You don't have to stay, you don't have to stay like this. When women start the 12 week menopause challenge, one of the first things they say, oh my God, I can't believe I have this much energy. I haven't felt this good in years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally different. So that's the type of fatigue that I am talking about here. The reason that happens is that you have a decrease in estrogen. Wow, my handwriting is terrible today. So when your estrogen drops, that's gonna cause a lot of the fatigue. Why? Why you ask? I'm so glad you asked. Because estrogen is in charge of things like building muscle. So if you're doing all these things, being active throughout the day, like most women are, right? We're busy. We got stuff to do. We're doing things. That drop in estrogen, it makes it a lot harder for us to build and maintain our normal muscle mass. So unless we're eating to, to combat this, our muscle tissue is going to get broken down and not rebuilt, which means that we just have less muscle tissue in general. Yeah, because our body is using our muscle tissue for energy and not using our fat tissue for energy because then what happens? We store more fat. Yay. It's terrible. We store more fat, right? And then that's going to also contribute to some inflammation, things like that, leading to fatigue. Mm -hmm. And then there's this whole other complex that happens with our sleep. Our hormones, estrogen, progesterone, are really in charge of getting to and staying asleep at night which is really key and important. And if you're not having those same normal amounts that you had before, sleep becomes very different. Therefore, you're not getting into that deep REM sleep, you're not resting properly, and it just, it's a bear to try and recover from. 
So no wonder we're exhausted. No wonder women get so tired. No wonder that when that drop in estrogen happens, our systems just power down. And then you feel like, why can't I do this? This shouldn't be, this shouldn't be that hard, right? And then you start to think of things that you're doing wrong, right? Oh, maybe I didn't drink enough water. Oh, maybe this or that is off. You know, I did have, you know, that cupcake yesterday. Maybe that sugar is causing this. No, it's just what your body is doing now. And you have to eat so that you fuel your body differently to build up the muscle, the energy, and everything. Your body also needs different amounts of minerals and other vitamins to keep it at a high functioning level and battle that fatigue as well. So these are all things that I'm talking about in the 12 week menopause challenge. So again, if you have not gotten on that wait list, get on the wait list right now because these are things that are gonna help tremendously, things that you can start right away. But for why this happens, it's really that drop in estrogen. That's one of the big main factors. It's not something that you did, right? This is not willpower. You can't just force yourself to do things if you have no energy. If, you're, if your gas tank is on empty, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like driving around and that light comes on and you're like, Aah. where do you have to go next? The gas station. Doesn't matter if you're late for a meeting, you now have to go to the gas station, right? That's what it's like in menopause if you are not fueling your body correctly. It's like driving around on an empty gas tank. The light is on, it's warning you, but if you're not refueling properly, you're not gonna be able to get very far. So, all right. Well, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you have any questions, you can always reach out, message, email, whatnot. But again, get on that wait list. I'm putting so much great information on that wait list. The, the gals that are, are on that right now are loving it, loving the info, um, and loving some of the changes that they're making already. So you can get started early. Just check it out. Take a sneak peek. That's what the wait list is for. So I'm really, really excited about it. Have a great rest of your night. If you found this helpful, I would so love and appreciate you sharing this with other women that you know could use this message. Honestly, women, we just aren't told these things. It's like one of my biggest frustrating points is that women don't know this stuff about their own bodies because we're not told it. So one of my missions is to educate women. So you can help with that mission by sharing this message and sharing information with other women that need it. So thank you in advance for doing that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.